Hi, everybody. Hi. How you doing tonight? Hi. Arr. It's an international talk like a pirate day. And a vast Arr. swab the poop decks. Do you know why they call it the poop decks? Because they pooped on the deck. And they said, ah, oh, those bilge rats. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Actually, it's not international talk like pirate day. But we don't Jim and Dave beer, beer review. review. And that was our worst introduction ever. <laughs> No, we've had words, but oh, boy. It's okay. As the beers get better, the introductions get worse. <laughs> Dave. Like last beer. Yes. What do we have on tap? This is no surprise, but why don't you tell them what's on tap? Uh, we have severe. Se 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 we have a severe storm coming in, and you should watch your kids. Well, yeah. You see, the more beers we have, the more fun we have on these. It's interesting. And everybody doesn't watch. I don't understand why not. Um, yes, may I help you? <laughs> oh, oh, Sony's awesome. She's like, excuse me, hello, pet me. Hey, we're hello. one minute into the beer review, and we haven't talked a damn thing about beer yet. Here I can't have. understand why we keep going up to it's, 15 minutes. It's Sierra Nevada uh, celebration. Celebration. Now that sounds good. What can you tell us about that? Well, or can, you can let me tell them about you know, it. I'll let you tell it, Jim. Here you go. Hop All right. Versus hoop. All right. Well, let's forget versus about that. Hoop. Uh, I just want to say, now, back in the day, obviously, when we were younger, there was just the big three brewing companies. A long time ago. And then I discovered Samuel Adams. I was like, this is a great beer. I love this beer. And I bought sixes of it all the time. And then I decided to branch out. The next beer I branched out to was Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. And it was so different from a lager. Back then, I didn't understand the differences between lagers and IPAs and ales and stouts and you know there obviously there's a wide spectrum of stouts beers and porters. but i really liked it so much i was excited i bought a six or two of it and i brought it to dave i was like dave you gotta try this and he was just like never buy this again so that's when we first discovered that we weren't quite in sync with the whole beer no, experience that's what makes everything great yeah he likes things and i don't like things i don't like he i like things you don't like things you know it's a good and since, and since then some people agree with him some people why, agree with him but some people agree with me. Right. I don't know why, why either. Doesn't make that's sense why people agree with me either. Well, we've done a lot of different this year in Nevada. We did get a sampler pack at one point. We tried their and narwhal. Barley wine. We tried the barley wine, which is the Bigfoot. Um, and they've had several other ones. And that's I actually way. would like to really get their uh, sampler one again for the holidays. But uh, this is Celebration Ale this time. And this is, um, obviously, it's not out year-round. It says, the start of Celebration Season is a festive event. That's we good. can't start brewing until the first <laughs> fresh hops have arrived. But once they have, the season is officially underway. First brewed in 1981, Celebration Ale is the earliest examples of an American-style IPA. Really? That's one of the few hop-forward holiday beers. Now, this is famous for its intense citrus and pine aromas. Celebration is bold and intense, featuring Cascade, Centennial, Chinook Hop, and Chinook Hops, honoring everything we have at Sierra Nevada. And it goes on, if you go to their website, may, may, may I say something? whole wet hop versus fresh hop. May I say something? You may. I'm Speak. sorry. Please, I want to Roof. interrupt you. Roof. I want you to go on. Please, <laughs> I, I, say I something. Want, I just wanted to Speak. say one thing. I want to ask your all opinions on this. Okay, we try to give you all the information we can. Should we be not giving you more information than you need? Because sometimes we read everything off like, you know, you're idiots and don't know how to read a website. Right, I do so like to put we the link. shorten it and let you like look on upon yourself and just give you the highlights and make these videos a little bit shorter because you know right. we're just trying to have a good time. Now but... we throw these up raw, and we are also going to be doing an edited version for time, and uh, we like to know what you'd like to see, which is why Dave is asking that. Yeah. Now you can go to the website. We do. I do like to include the link in the comments below, where you can go directly to it. Sometimes you can't go direct because they want to know your age, so they'll let you into the website. So you may have to click the link more than once in below. All uh, right, quick overview of this beer. It says here, brewing is as much as an art as science, and all beer specifications and raw materials are subject to change at our brewer's creative discretion. Now, the overview of this beer. Again, Sierra Nevada Celebration. Alcohol content is 6.8 by volume. Pretty good. Uh, I'm going to skip the gravity. Bitterness units is 65. A little Ye more than I like. Yeast is ale yeast. Okay. The bittering hops is Chinook and Centennial, and the Chinook. finishing hops is Cascade and Centennial. Cascades. Malts, like two row pale and caramel. That's kind of food yeah. pairings. I really like when a we website so has food I. pairings. That I is like so cool. Have food pairings, yes. Fish and chips, roasted turkey, fish and chips and dressing. Yep. 
I like the fact it's got roasted turkey. This sounds like a good Thanksgiving beer. Yeah. Uh, polenta and grilled vegetables. And the cheese is uh, par par Parmaggio. Parmesan. Reggiano. No, Parmesan, it's not Parmesan. Parmesan. I don't know how to pronounce Parmesan. I don't know okay, this one. Okay, sorry. That's a very long name. It's obviously Italian. And Manchigo, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I like the bottle, too, by the way. Yeah, this is a very nice <laughs> bottle. Uh, it's a kind of stubby bottle. It's red, obviously. They have the date on there in 2014. But it's 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 a stubby type of bottle. It's not a, it's a, a thinner type, longer bottle. It's a stubbier type of it's a wider bottle. And as far as IPA styles go, they did mention uh, American, like but it says too. on the label it's fresh hop. Yeah. Um, and it says this is special ale for the holidays. And I won't go into it because it's too small to read. All right, my friend. We are almost six minutes in. We haven't even cracked open the beer yet. Yeah, we're cracking open because we got diarrhea of the mouth. That's okay. Blah, 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 blah. It does have the date on it. All of them have the date on it, don't they? Uh, the year, at least. Well, this is not I one... Meant, I meant the year. This is obviously not one meant for aging, but we do appreciate when they have the year on there. It's a certain... Uh, certain touch of class that I like. This is going down awful quick already. Hmm. Look at... I mean, you can see... Well, this is definitely... I put a lot of foam on here, okay? But you can see it going up an awful quick. Well, I did. Well, I consider a standard pour. I got a two-finger head on here. I got like a five-finger. It's got, you know, it's a very creamy-looking head. Lots of bubbles. Not a whole lot of crackling, but a little bit. I saw somebody listen to it once. Listen. Oh wow! You know, I never thought about that before. People listening to your beer, I'll tell you something. I will credit that Drink with uh, our our friend from Louisiana, Louisiana Beer Reviews. He's a great guy, okay. Ronald. Ronald. And it is um, very amber colored. Not seeing a whole lot of bubbles going up. That's not to say they're not there. No. But it's not really. Um, it looks like it's been filtered no. though. No. We got a lot of beer cats with us today. Yes. Sonia yeah, and the Puff, the, the beer puff. cats. Yes, hello, Puff. Moving right along. Let's do a snifter. Oh, yes. Finally, a beer night I like the scent of. Mm. Not overpowering. Very subtle, very subtle. Hints of the citrus, but not you know, not aggressive like I don't know any citrus at all in this. Very very slight. So you got good news in it because I don't smell it at all. Mmm, but it does have a, a certain crispness to it. Um, I don't know. It's rolling my nose. Like you. we can't smell anything. Maybe it's going to smell through all the foam. Smelling through the foam? No, I think if we had more foam, it'd be a better scent. Oh, maybe. Because the carbonation, I would think, would be wafting I would up. think it'd be all aloof on top. A loofah. I like mm. the smell of it. I like the smell of it, too. I like the color. And let's see how we feel about the taste. Everybody, for the holidays, no matter what religion, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy yeah. Kwanzaa, or whatever. Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Ooh, we haven't done one of those ones. Yeah. And Happy Thanksgiving to whatever country you're in. My friends, cheers. And cheers, cheers to you, cheers. too, my friend. There you go. There you go. Oh, home run by Sierra Nevada. They have done it again. Oh, man, what a great beer company they are. They really produce some winners. I would buy this beer. I'll say that right off the bat. No thought was about it. I would buy a case of this beer. Uh, full disclosure, I actually already bought a case of this beer because I tried it before. Dave, you're not doing the hand flips that I am verbally doing over here. I know. You, you like Sierra Nevada, and you have for years, I guess. I have. Um, it's kind of like my Labatt Blue beer. You like Sierra Nevada. I think that's what it is. I like Labatt Blue. I know, but you really like Sierra Nevada. Like, well, I the, the really original like pale ale was Blue. a favorite of mine. That's true. And the, I used to drink Labatt Blue like all the time. I still drink it every day, actually. I have one beer a day. But um, can't. You, you're, you're like... Kind of like your 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 your, your go to beer, your signature type beer nowadays is like you know really something you really like you like is is Sierra Nevada, like I like Labatt's. Mm. Well, I would actually think uh, Samuel Adams might be more of my signature or a uh, Mirror Pond. Those are my tens. Um, but you know, you got your beer that you drink that you like, that you, and you got some beers that you can't afford, and there's too much money, and you got the beers that are very crappy and you don't want to buy. And... Well, actually, my go-to beer would actually be a Yingling Light because I'm trying to watch my calories, and I think as a lager, it's still a good beer. Um, I would give oh, this. Oh yeah, me too. I like I like I, I like their black to tan actually, but but we're talking about this beer now. The celebration. Celebration. It's... I would give it like. 
The, the, the taste. It's a good cold weather beer, too, I think. I would drink this by a fire. Maybe with some sausages. Uh, they mentioned fish and chips. I would get this I would maybe a 7.5 to a 7. Somewhere in between there, I think. Interesting. All right, well. Um, I like some, the bottle. I like the labeling. I know some uh, beer uh, review places actually go from 1 to 100. So, But we're not that. Some give it 20 to 5, so you have to give like a point. Four point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Points. So That's a we, too we, much. We, well, let's stick with the halves. Let's not get too fine a yeah. point on it. Yeah. So I would give this. Oh boy, I like it. I would drink it. Um, because when you give a beer a four out of a five, you're giving it eighty percent. That's like giving it an eight, and that's not exactly what you should really be giving the beer. Very smooth going down. It's, um, it's not a bad beer. It's good, not a bad good, beer at all. Good holiday beer. Um, does have a bit of a bitter aftertaste. Yeah, but I can see myself sitting around with a bunch of people, you know, and you get a party at Christmas time, you're sitting around, you got a case of, of the celebration beer, and you're Absolutely. sitting around drinking beer and discussing so, what's going on in life, and you're having a good time. And would you buy this beer? I'd buy this beer. All right, that's I'd good. This beer. I think I'll give this an 8.5. I really like it. Uh, um, it's not, uh, it's, it doesn't quite make up a 10, but it's very, very drinkable. I would recommend it. And there you have it. Yeah. So, I think we always like to say, Please drink responsibly. You should always do that. Always. Yeah. I mean, come on, people. It's You're an adult. You should know better by now. You know, don't go to a bar and get loaded. Just stay home and get loaded. Buy something, take it home. You want to have a social beer, one, two tops, depending on your weight. But don't be a jerk. Come on. Who needs that? We don't need that. Right? Jim cares. I do. <laughs> it hurts me when you drink and drive. It makes me sad. It hurts other people too. It's like that Indian from from he couldn't pick up the trash in nineteen seventy uh, whatever commercial. Nineteen seventy what? Yeah, he's just like he's just like he's his big trash pile. He's on a horse. I like how he's on a horse outside New York City. That <laughs> go over real well. But anyway, go look it up on YouTube. Was, was you know what I'm talking about. about. I would speak no more forever. What? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, people would wish you would speak no more forever. Quite frankly. <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm thinking you should speak no more forever myself right now. No offense. <laughs> no offense, Al. No. And pregnant women should not consume alcohol. Do not, under 21. Do not drink. At and... all. Unless you're 18 and in the armed services, in which case, you know what? You're yeah, I your think country. if you serve your country, you should be able to drink also. Yeah, if you have a chance of being killed by enemies, you know, you deserve it. Have a beer, for God's sakes, you know. For God's sakes, yes. For Lord's sakes. Excuse me, all you. Only on barracks, not out there in the public land, though. Well, there you go. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And uh, that's about it. And from me, Jim, and him, Dave, we me wish to wish you. Me, Jim, Baby, baby. I would talk about all the time about Baba Ba. Like Saturday, right. no claim. We always like to say, please, hey, find some good beer and drink it. Yeah, and, and have a good laugh or two. And or three. Have yeah. some laughs with your beers. Have some laughs. Life is short. People, have some laughs. Have some Don't be so times. serious. Yes. Really. Don't be so serious, you pricks. Yeah, you some kidding. bitches. Yeah. Some bitch. We don't want any profanity here, though. Yeah, no. but I was watching, uh, what was it, the uh, Smokey and the Bandit. Some bitch. Hey. <laughs> Where are you, you some bitch? <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, moving right along. Some of the greatest blooper stuff after the movie was over. It's Jim and Dave's movie review yes, we should know of that movies time. that were gone 30 years ago. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye, Dave. Bye, Sonia. Bye, Sonia.